G'day everyone, welcome back to Gold Shift Garage, WB Built. Uh, we're up to episode three now, so in this one we're going to attempt, we'll take out the dash um, and then we'll start just removing some external trim, like all the door skins, mirrors, these bonnet mounts, you know, whatever we can rip off, sort of limited time this break, only got a couple of days to work on it, so yeah, we'll see what we can do, right eh? All right, I'll bring you in for a look. I've just started to peel back this uh, roof lining. Let's have a bit of a sneak, bit of a sneak peek of what <laughs> I'm gonna be pulling out. Yeah, baby. Yeah, thanks, mate. All right, I'll set you up over there and <laughs> we'll rip this down. All right, you ready? Let's have a look what we got. All right, oh. Gosh. There you go. Right, oh, we'll go and have a look at what sort of carnage that mouse left us up in the roof. That nah, wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad, really. But this roof is really, really clean. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So the cab itself is really good. Like, maybe a little bit of rust there in that seal, but you know, we should be able to fix that, no worries. Um, and then we've just got floor pans. So obviously passenger, um, the old driver side. And look what's tacked up under there. We've got a, got a clutch pedal. So from everything I know, this was originally a manual 202. So up there on the column. Um, but yeah, there's the clutch jammed up under the carpet it was. So all in all, this cab's pretty good, pretty clean. So, now that all, all this crap's out, uh, we'll make a start on this dash. Start pulling this dash out. All right. Righto. So we've taken this um, lower section of the dash out, just where the ashtray and underneath the steering wheel over there and the, the fuse mounts. And yeah, the poor thing was just brutally, brutally installed. Like, have a look at this. So this is where they've attempted to mount it like quite a few times by the looks of that. You know, they've broken this part of the dash off where they've just stuck a tech screw. Um, yeah, this is what I pulled out of it. So yeah, not very good. So looks like we're up for another brand new part of the dash there. All right, we'll carry on. We'll start ripping the top section out. We'll see what we find there. Hopefully not as bad as the lower. Righto, for those of you wondering how to remove this light switch, so it's, it's locked in there, right? So behind the dash here, where it, it goes into this mechanism, um, there's like a spring-loaded button and it releases this. So if I can get my fingers through, and locate this spring. Righto. So it's literally tucked behind this, so you pull that out and that's locked. And then you're able to engage that spring. There you go. Just comes out. Like there's a little locking mechanism um, that goes into this groove, which is situated behind where your light switch is. Um, you push in that little spring-loaded button out it comes. So that's a handy little trick right there. Otherwise, you gotta fight to try and get this dash plate out.
Right, oh, we got that dash plate out. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. This is in pretty good nick compared to the bottom bit. It's been butchered. Um, right, oh, I'll show you that light switch mechanism that we were talking about earlier. Um, so you can see that spring loaded button just there. So that one there pushes in and it releases your light switch. So, and this here also acts as a screw. See, it comes out and it holds your dash plate in as well. So, um, yeah, you can just screw that back in together. But there's your little, there's your little uh, button. So that's a handy trick. All right, we'll see if we can remove this top part of the dash. It actually seems to be in not bad nick either. Looks like it might have been brown originally. It's all full of dust and shit. But, not bad. Not bad. Alright, what else have we got to do in here? Oh, we're getting there. We're taking in all the gauges. Take out the glove box. Get rid of the steering wheel. Radio. All right, still a bit of work. That was a half decent day pulling this dash out, doing all the side trim, and of course, we can't forget that mess in the roof from the mouse, eh? Hey? Oh, Jesus. Um, well, there's more more bolts in that dash than I thought, like, like there was so many. But we got there. Um, tomorrow we're gonna rip out that steering wheel. Uh, we'll pull the column out, and then we'll go through, and we'll start taking off all this trim. Like, um, there's quite a bit we can do. Rip off these door trims. I've already started with like the handles and the window wipers. So there's a bit of a trick to that too. If you don't know, I'll I'll put that in a video. But um Yeah, good day. Good day. Right, see you tomorrow. Righto, so we've taken those door skins off. Uh, and this is the passenger side. So it actually doesn't look it doesn't look half bad here, like there's a bit of rust starting to happen. Um, especially down in this part. Like I said, it's not too bad. So that door's, you know, it's salvageable. Uh, right, oh, bonnet mounts. Bonnet mounts are gone, both sides. Taken off uh, the grill up here. Have a look inside the plenum chamber. So you can see, this has been sitting in the shed for over 10 years. And you can see that's been in there prior to that. So, but it actually doesn't look that bad. So we won't know, obviously, until we get up into the corners. But, so you can see I've labelled all the wiring harness too. 
So when it comes time to rip all that out, we know where it goes. Um, we'll have a look on this side. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's have a look up in here. Oh, a bit of leaf litter, but it doesn't look too rusty. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out when we rip, rip some of that trim off. Um, and then we got this door. So, same thing. Same thing, a bit of, bit of dirt and grime down in the doors. But, you know, down on this side, there's a little bit of rust starting in there, but not as bad as the passenger side. So, we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. All right, well, carry on. I'm gonna actually start drilling out all these tarp mounts. So we'll drill these out. That'll take a little bit of time, but that's no problems. All right, I'll crack on. Righto, well that's the grill out. Grill's all packed away and labelled. <laughs> Not that you need a label for the grill. Alright, and you can see we've now taken off all these tarp uh, where the rope holds the tarp on. So they're all done all the way around the vehicle. Now I'm just going to take off these holding signs. I don't want to break those because they're obviously all original. So I'll take my time with those. I'm not actually putting these um, tarp holders back on. I'm just going to clean that up and leave it like a nice clean side, I think. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in to uh, episode three of the WV build. Uh, we actually got a lot done for the time that I could spend on it. So busy with kids sport and so forth. You know how it is. Well, next time I think we're going to pull this engine out, the engine tranny. Um, yeah, I've got an engine crane over there waiting. I've got an engine stand coming. So, yeah, that should be fun. So big, big job, but fun. Uh, righto, hope you enjoyed this episode. So like, subscribe, you know, the YouTube stuff that everyone does. Cheers, see you on the next one.